Shane Pinto is about to be suspended 41 games, half of the season. Now, obviously, this is a massive suspension, half of an NHL season, and Shane Pinto is not even on an NHL roster. He has to sign a qualifying offer with the Ottawa Senators in order to begin serving that suspension. And that's kind of insane that the NHL is imposing a suspension on a player who is not on an NHL active roster, but what's even more insane is the fact that Shane Pinto apparently did not bet on any NHL games and is still getting this heavy of suspension. That's right, according to a statement released by the NHL's official PR account, Shane Pinto is suspended for 41 games for activities related to sports wagering. The league's investigation found no evidence that Pinto made any wagers on NHL games. So I'm guessing that Shane Pinto must have bet on other sports like maybe NBA or NFL games. At the worst, he bet on like minor league hockey games, but the question I have is why does the NHL care if Shane Pinto bet on other sports games? And from a recent report from the Ottawa Sun Times by Bruce Garrett, it looks like the impetus for this ban actually came from the NHL's gambling partners themselves, quote, This is important because it goes to the integrity of the game, a league source told this newspaper Thursday. It's the appearance of impropriety, that's the problem. You can't have that as a league. Once you start to tarnish the system, especially with your new partners in the gambling world, it's not good. You've kicked the wrong hornet's nest, the appearance of integrity in games? Whoa. It goes on to say that leak sources say Pinto's online gambling account in the United States was flagged by a company that is a partner of the league because of unusual activity and it contacted the NHL's head office recently. So it seems like one of the gambling partners with the NHL noticed that Shane Pinto had unusual activity on his gambling account, which was not related to NHL games, and contacted the NHL as a result? To me, if we're talking about the integrity of the game, this seems incredibly suspect to have a gambling account get flagged and then instead of taking the proper procedures, which I'm guessing would normally be to just uh, deactivate the account or block it or maybe put it under scrutiny to see if it you know, was breaking terms of service or something like that, that they contact the NHL, which has no relation to this matter other than employing the player and getting him suspended. It would be like if, if FanDuel saw that I had unusual activity on my account and then contacted my boss and told them that they needed to fire me or put me on suspension. To me, this all seems very icky and I hope that Shane Pinto doesn't have his career completely undone because of this one decision.